Hello, everybody. Today we'll be reading a story of the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who were brothers. These three brothers went, or went around the, the world looking for adventures. <laughs> And they found a nice, very cool, very nice uh, place in a very quiet forest. The older brothers told his brothers that they should build their own houses to be safe. The other two brothers thought it was a good idea. And they went to work. Each of them began to build their own little house. Mine will be made out of straw, said the youngest of all. The straw is soft, it can be easily moved and stacked. I'll finish soon and can go to rest. The middle brother thought it should be more resistant, so his house would be made of wood. There are many trees around, he told it to his brothers. Mm. I'll build my house quickly with all this wood, and I'll go to play, said the little pig. Mm. However, the older brother decided to make it out of hard stone. My house will be the most resistant, even if I can't go to play, he said. When the houses were finished, the three little pigs were very happy and danced around them to see and sang. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The wolf, the wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The wolf, the wolf, the wolf. The wolf. <laughs> then, without anyone realizing it, a wolf appeared from behind a tree. This wolf was very hungry because he had not eaten for three days. Hmm, little pigs. I'm going to eat them all, said the hungry wolf. They each hid in their home, thinking they were safe and secure from the wolf. The big bad wolf ran to the little brother's thatched house and shouted. Little pig, open this door right now, said the wolf. See, not... I'm not going to open it for you, said the scared little pig. <laughs> well, if you don't, I'll huff and puff and I'll blow the house down. When the straw house came down, the little pig ran as fast as he could and entered his middle brother's wooden house. <laughs> Since it was a wooden house built with strong logs, he thought it was more resistant and saying, Who's afraid of Big Bad Wolf? The Big Bad Wolf? Who's afraid of Big Bad Wolf? The Big Bad Wolf? <laughs> Again, the ferocious wolf, angrier than before, began to yell, Little pigs, open the door for me, said the wolf. No, we are not going to open the door, said the little pigs. Well, if you don't open for me, I'll blow and blow and I'll knock the house down. The wood broke, the walls broke. And the two little pigs ran to their brother's house, which was a house made of large and strong stone. Feeling safe again, the three little pigs sang again from within. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The wolf, the wolf. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf. So the wolf was very angry and furious with three little pigs. Now he wanted to eat the three little pigs more than ever. Little pigs, open the door right now, said the wolf. No, we are not going to open the door for you, said the, said the little pigs. Well, if you don't, I'll huff and puff and I'll knock the house down. The wolf blew and blew, but this time he couldn't bring the house down. So he decided to climb through the window and enter through the chimney. Going down the chimney, he slipped and fell into a cauldron below, where the older brother was cooking a soup. <laughs> Wounded and with an empty stomach, he fled. The older brother scolded the other two for being so lazy. So if one day you go, yeah, you go through the field and you see three little pigs, you will know that they are three little pigs because they like to sing. Who fears the big bad wolf? The wolf, the wolf. Who fears the big bad wolf? The wolf, the wolf. Moral: After this experience, the three little pigs realize that it is important to take the time to, to do things right and not take shortcuts. The end.